What's up for guys and girls, welcome to the show. Hope you're having a great day and thanks for joining us. We're always looking for fresh clips, so if you have a good one, there's a link at the top of the description you can use to send them to us. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here, and stay with us and come take part in the comment question at the end. Thanks guys, enjoy the video. I'm just gonna hammer, bro. They're, they're just gonna cry.
Oh, come on! Thanks for watching, check out our previous episodes for more top quality Fall Guys content. But now yesterday we wanted to know, which is better, Whirligig or Hit Parade? Beam Trigger says Whirligig, 
Hit Parade might have more variations, but you don't get ragdolled half as much on Whirligig. And when the handle changes, says Whirligig, Hit Parade, you just hold forward and hope for the best. This was a very one-sided showdown. The winner is Whirligig. Moving on now, and Darkseid sends some thanks for being featured. No problem. Remember guys, you can be featured just like Darkseid. Use the link below to send us clips. And last up, Freddy Fazbear loves watching some of the aggressive griefing beans get hit with karma. You do love to see it. Let's finish this up with a comment question now. Tell me guys, what's your best advice to qualify team games? This is a very open question, but when communication is limited, how do you help your teams? Do you stay out of the way and try to do the best you can solo? Help a cluster of teammates if you see them? Or do you focus your efforts on disrupting the other teams? Whatever your tactic is, let us know in the comments and I'll grab your best responses to feature in the next episode. That's all for this one. See you tomorrow, Fall Guys.